Hi everyone, it's Rebecca here and I don't really know how long this video is going to be so yeah, we're just going to go with it I'm bringing you yet another book haul Okay, so since my last book haul, which was July it was like the middle of July since then I've acquired quite a few books I haven't got them all with me and I can't really remember the other couple that I haven't got Sorry, my hood was really annoying me So we're just going to get straight into it I've got an unboxing for you I have a couple of gifts from a certain lovely booktuber and another gift that is also that unboxing and yeah I'm just going to get straight into them. So the two most recent ones I have acquired are Chocolat by Joanne Harris. I'm not too sure what this is about other than I've seen it everywhere and I'm just like I need this and I think it might be a quick read. I mean this one is second hand so as you can tell the pages are a bit yellowed on the top but it makes it look loved and it makes me happy that books are loved and this one's got like just short of 300 pages so I should probably be able to fly through this no bother <laughs> the next book I picked up well the, the most recent book I picked up is Just What Kind of Mother Are You by Paula Daly these two books were 50p each for an Alzheimer's Society charity stall at a car boot sale and I thought why not because not only is it for a good cause but I've been looking for chocolate for a while and this one is like not even red the spine isn't broken it's just a little bit scuffed on the edges it's a little bit loved um so yeah this one is basically about a woman who has a husband and three kids of her own and she's looking after her friend's daughter and her friend's daughter goes missing um she hasn't seen her since like yesterday according to the back of the book and apparently this isn't the first person to go missing in the village that I live in so I guess this is just gonna go through her story and try and find her friend's daughter before her friend finds out possibly I don't quite know but I'm looking forward to that one the next two I have I picked up um while I was with I think I was with Ness I think and they are Fingersmith by Sarah Waters and Winter and Majid by CJ Sansom. Neither of these are small. I always do this when I go book shopping with Ness. I never pick small books up. I always pick the big chunky ones up. But yeah, I've never read a Sarah Waters book and this one seemed quite interesting. I've left the sticker on. It was it was also shortlisted for the Man Booker and Orange Prizes. Um, it's never been read. It's in pretty decent condition and it basically sounds a lot like Oliver. Um, sort of like a twist on Oliver perhaps sort of from the f f with a female main character rather than Oliver so I'm looking forward to that one and with Winter in Madrid um, I also have Dominion by CJ Sansom I've just never picked it up and I don't know if I want to read that one first or this one again this one's in pretty good nick it has been read but it it's in pretty decent nick and I have put my bookmark in there to try and convince me to read it and it's not happening is about a veteran of Dunkirk who has turned spy very reluctantly and this is for the British Secret Service yay go Britain woo um, yeah he's sent to go to an old school friend or colleague um, who is now a, sh a shady Madrid businessman according to the back of this book and all of a sudden yeah it's 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 just like there's loads of secrets and stuff like that and Sandy's girlfriend is an ex Red Cross nurse and she's looking for her former lover um, and I don't really know why because surely if she's with him unless he isn't good enough for her or whatever I don't really know and um, it seems quite like an interesting read and there are some good reviews for this on Goodreads so I'm hoping to get to this one soon as well this next one I may or may not have left the sticker on and that is Chat Talon by Julie Kagawa um, I know Ben from Benjamin of Tomes loves this book I think it's this one anyway he he ranted and raved about it but I do think the cover is quite pretty and it was 1 99 or 3 for £5 and I picked up two books and I was going to get a second copy of this for Ness and I thought she hadn't replied to my text by the time I was ready to leave the shop so I put it down and I was thinking well you snooze you lose because it's a shiny cover but she can always borrow it if she wants to borrow it so yeah this is just me announcing that you can borrow the book if you want this there are a dozen soldiers hiding in that maze all hunting you all looking to kill you it sounds like a mix of the hunger games and 
Um, the Maze Runner, i.e. the maze you need to get out of. The Hunger Games, the idea of everyone's trying to kill you themselves. So guys, it's time for the unboxing and I'm really, really, really excited to tell to show you all. Um, a while back, Mara from Mind for the Reading, whose channel I will link down below, did a, um, a I quit my job TBR and read along, that kind of thing. And basically it was because she quit her job, she had loads of books she wanted to read and she wanted to read them. And hence this readathon to try and spur her on to read some more of her books. So she was sort of, you know, she was trying to get people to drum up and take part and things like that and unfortunately I couldn't take part due to work in college and placement but I was quite active in like sort of commenting on her videos and watching her progress and being really really impressed by her progress and she kindly sent me a package! She she asked me if I wanted um, some credit on the book depository for sort of promoting her TBR and her readathon and I was like okay I've never done this before but let's go with it so yeah I'm really really excited to show you guys what's in it and this time I have got it this way around because previously I showed everyone my address and everyone would have been like party at your house and I would have been like oh my god no just just no yeah let's just see what it is it is the Children Act by Ian McEwan. And this one is about a, a woman named Fiona May. Uh, and she's a high court judge regarding children and families and cases surrounding new children and the safety of children. Um, she, she's childlessness, she's childlessness herself. That makes no sense. She's childless herself, childlessness makes no sense. She is childless herself and she, she's been married for 30 years and it's going nowhere personally for her. And then she's sort of brought forward for an urgent case where there are religious reasons concerned. So the Children Act is about a woman named Fiona who is a high court judge who was childless and is married of 30 years and feels her marriage is actually in crisis. Um, she is a high court judge G G blah, 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 blah. she is a high court judge dealing in family situations um, where the safety of the child is paramount and obviously these parents have been disregarding their safety. Now this case, this urgent case gets brought to light about a family who for religious reasons do not want their son to have treat medical treatment to save his life and this boy Adam actually doesn't want them himself. This kind of topic is something I would have loved to have read about when I did my degree because in my degree, my degree is in religion and theology and education so I actually did a couple of um, modules on values and virtues in Christian theology and in Christianity so I think this would have been a brilliant book to read at that point and I'm really really looking forward to it and um, it's quite a short read it's like 225 pages so I'm hoping to pick it up shortly try and fly through it and then post a review for you all because this was a really great gift from Mara and it does actually have in the um let me find it as with all book depository items you get a bookmark and this is my very first book depository bookmark and I'm so 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 excited and I just want to get around to using it after I've dropped it on the floor but yeah thank you so so much Mara I'm gonna get around to it shortly I promise just in case you guys missed it this is the bookmark um on the bottom there is a chef reading a book about uh, pasta and a uh, counter reading about mice so yeah, I'm really, really excited to use this bookmark almost as much as I'm excited to read the book. So thanks again, Mara. Thank you so, so much. And I'll leave your channel and everything down below. You should all go subscribe to her. She's great, honestly. She's brilliant. And this next lot of books were given to me by Ness from Wonderness, who was having a bit of a clear out and she basically put a pile of books together that she thought I would really, 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 really enjoy. And they are all in this Barter Books bag from Annick. And we both go on about Barter Books quite a lot. and We really enjoy going there. So naturally, it's full of books. It's full of books. So I'm just picking them out at random. I have seen these books, but I'm just going to pick them out at random for you all. This first book is a huge book, and it is Innocent Traitor by Alison Weir. Now, I recognise that name, and I can't remember where from. And she is a historian, but that's not where I know her from. This Jane Grey was born at a time of extreme danger. Charles was the same father of Elizabeth's mother for whom she was nearly a poor young dynastic poor game behind stick. She was delighted to enthrall to political machinations and legal and legal and legal and legal. Oh my goodness, am I going to be able to even read this book? Okay, so I think it's supposed to be historical fiction. But I think it's got a, a lot of truth spinned into it. So I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading this, but it's because it's like huge, but it's just over, over 400 pages. Um, hopefully I'll get around to reading it. I don't know if it's any good and yeah, first book done. This next book I have I'm really excited to show you all um, because we went shopping and we went 
to a charity shop and in this charity shop the full box set untouched for £3.50 and Ness already had the first book and she kindly said she'd give me the first book if she bought the series which I convinced her to do because yay me for a free book not gonna lie and that is Miss Dawn book one The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson so I'm looking forward to reading this because I haven't actually read anything by him and yeah I don't really know much about it and I want it to stay that way this book I have I was saying oh I've downloaded it on iBooks but I don't really want to read it on my iPhone I want an actual book but I couldn't find it and that is Bram Stoker's Dracula because everybody else read this at A level and at uni and I didn't this next book I wasn't expecting at all um, and it sounds really really interesting and it's called what I saw and how I lied by Judy Blundell now this one oh I didn't notice that on the cover let's just take a minute when I take the flap off that's the actual cover can we see that's the actual cover and then the inside flap how gorgeous is that inside flap guys look at it it's just it's so pretty and again this is another one i'm really 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 looking forward to getting to this is really sad my camera cut off and I was filming my last book and that is really suckish and I'd managed to pick everything up and everything so let's go for round two the last book I have to show you is Stolen by Lucy Christopher I don't really know much about it other than Ness really really seemed to enjoy it and it's basically about a girl who was taken from an airport and apparently forced to love someone and it's a letter to her captor so I'm presuming it's a letter format I haven't actually had a look but I'm really really excited to get around to it because she kept asking me if I wanted to read it because I hadn't and I gladly said yes and now we will try for round two of stacking the books because I'd stacked all these books before and they were all stacked really really nicely and I managed to pick them all up and it was great and then I dropped them all and my camera hadn't even filmed it so let's see let's go for round two guys because look if I put this up like this, I can I can do a chin rest. Shall I just make this my thumbnail? No, we need to do a proper thumbnail. So yeah, these are all of the books I have bought since my last July book haul. Oh my goodness, these are really heavy and I don't even know if they're all in shot, but we're just going to go with it. Um, hopefully I'll get around to reading some of these soon because I am sick of buying books and not reading enough. Um, I'm on page like, nearly. I'm nearly up to 500 pages on A Game of Thrones when filming this so hopefully by the time i've actually put this up i'll have read some more so yeah hopefully i can get through some of these as well and i shall hopefully see you all soon with another video bye guys